Hi guys, welcome back to the NFT Watchdog YouTube channel. We are going to talk about Any Moon. I'm going to explain you why this project is bad and actually the people behind it are lying and probably preparing a rug pull. Just quickly, I can tell you that they are talking about partner. You can see right here. They said that they are partner with Top Deck. It's a shop selling shoes, basically. If we search for Top Deck in their website, what we can see? People with 100 Any Moon card will get a Jordan shoes and uh, those with 100 will get uh, off-white t-shirt and blah 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 let's be clear guys they want to meet 9999 nfts at 020.2 ethereum basically so 6.5 million dollars of course they can afford uh, those uh, jordan shoes it doesn't make them partner with top deck desktop they don't need to be their partner actually i asked them i asked top deck if they are partner and if they heard of it they didn't let me show you so it's in french but basically i asked them if they are partner with them and i explained them that something is going on i knew it was a lie i was almost certain but I, I needed to double check of course so you cannot just say oh this thing is bad blah, blah blah without proof so I asked them and uh, what they are saying hello I have nothing to do with this project any moon if they want to buy some of our product they are welcome then I show them the FAQ because on the FAQ what do you read here are you allowed to use the name of brand like off-white supreme etc and what they're answering we have a partnership with top deck which allows us to buy hype brand like off-white and Supreme at low price and Top Deck have the right to use their name. So this is all bullshit, guys. You walk inside the shop and you can buy. Top Deck will let buy anyone. So they are using this in a marketing way here. Total lie. They are not partner with them at all. And like I said here, I show them the FAQ and he says, that is wrong. Thanks for showing me. I will get on it as soon as possible. So clearly a lie. First lie. The second thing is now we have a team that bah, we don't know with the team. Clearly we just have nicknames and no link to the founders. We don't see anything we have one of the artists here the page already appeared one of the advisor here he looks like he's the founder of this top deck that's interesting that top deck themselves tells me no no they have nothing and also that they are using top deck like a, a partner or something when actually they seems to work all together into this project the community manager by account is private so yeah we don't know much about her except she has some followers and she's part of the billionaire club so yeah just some few information and apparently here we have 15 legendary cards that will automatically generate you 2.5k every month guys for life to whoever owns those cards so that's interesting to say this because behind it uh, but if they don't give you the money uh, pretty much you guys cannot go after anyone because you don't know who is behind it hein? we have a shop the shop tells me they are not partner with them but apparently we have someone in the team here Jan as the advisor he seems to be the founder of this uh, this shop top desk but when you ask them they are saying they are not so who you're going to look at if they actually don't give you the money Uh, like I said, 6.5 million dollars, guys. So uh, they have the money just to throw behind the project if they want. But if they want, clearly here they can just rug everyone, disappear, close the page, and. Uh and goodbye so I saw a lot of people very excited and stuff but come on look at the roadmap and try to understand they are saying they are going to make a video game and this game will bring you money now it seems like they are using the Pokemon on everything so they are making a Pokemon video game and I duped they can do that because like I said for sure they don't have any agreement with Nintendo so the Pokemon company is going to go after them at some point and if you guys win any money with these NFTs you're going to own this money to the Pokemon company, that's what it is. You own 100% of it to them because copyright infringement. Doesn't matter who sold it, sold it to you, that's what happened. And it happens before and it will happen again. We have uh, more and more projects that looks like uh, something famous. And when you see this, when it looks like the DC comic uh, or the Pokemon or whatever other brand, just be careful because behind it, we have often a copyright infringement and this is absolutely wrong. You guys going to lose your money into this. So very be careful. Someone give me the name of this guy apparently is behind it so it's clearly a guy specialized in marketing he's selling ebook and if you look at the link on his bio you see selling formation crypto nft and that's where it's interesting because let's click on it and what do we see it's supposed to talk about crypto and nfts but if you watch the whole video which i did you pretty much just see a guy flexing so he's in the desert playing tennis he's at the beach he's relaxing he's in his ferrari he's on a yacht he's having fun nothing about crypto 
crypto and uh, NFTs here, but uh, that clearly shows you something is wrong. Really, even his formation, his ebook, is throwing you in your face that uh, look is rich and stuff. So you want to be like him, follow his formation, follow his class. Pretty deceiving, I would say. So be careful. So we know we have apparently this guy behind the project, or he's just maybe uh, doing the marketing. Uh, maybe he's just an ambassador, but he's taking money from uh, from you guys. So if we look at the roadmap, we can see uh, Q1, so quarter one, 2022. They are preparing the development of the play to earn game in the metaverse. Why not? Since uh, bah, they're making $6.5 million, of course, they can do that. In Q1, you can see there is the release of the Any Moon comic, and that's where things become a bit uh, dangerous for people owning this, because if they are really making a comic and they don't have any uh, licensing agreement with Nintendo, this is dead. So I think this part's already never going to happen. And they want to make a crypto coin that doesn't need any money for that, guys. Anyone can create a crypto coin anytime they want for uh, zero dollar. Just pay the gas fees on the Ethereum blockchain or whatever blockchain you're using, and you can make your crypto coin. Billions, uh, trillions, quadrillions of the token, no problem. It costs you zero dollar. So this, I think, has nothing to do there. They finally launched their play to earn game on quarter two. Here they're doing a percentage trading fee redistribution. So that's on people trading their crypto crypto coin. I'm a trader guys. I know what it is to trade. I would never trade this. They are unknown. We don't have any serious things behind it. It's not people that are actually contributing to the ecosystem. They are not making, I don't know, a special blockchain or a new business that is so good that everybody wants to invest in. Nobody knows about them except you if you're watching this video. So here I'm telling you, even for me, I'm never going to trade their crypto coin because as soon as it starts, it's called a shit coin. I'm not trading shit coins. You lose money into this because it pump and it dumps. So very be careful as well. And yeah, still nothing good for you guys as an NFT holder. Nothing serious, nothing secure or nothing that is sure to happen. Then play to earn 2.0 once again, just throwing some word. We don't know what is the play to earn 1.0 already. So what do we know about the 2.0? They should give some details, but absolutely nothing once again. And a Netflix secret project. You saw they always go crescendo, these guys. It's more and more. More and more in the light. So yeah, very be careful. Pretty much uh, nothing going to go well with that. You're going to see some uh, excitement. People, of course, are going to mint and the price is going to increase the floor price. And end of the day, you might have uh, a floor price that is high, but not many people going to buy behind it. So the volume will go lower and lower. It's going to go exactly like a pump and dump uh, token. And the problem in the future with this token, with this NFT, sorry, not token, but you've got nothing in your hand that has a value except for people winning some of the giveaways because for giveaways that's for sure they are actually throwing the word giveaways everywhere especially on their discord where you can see you see uh, win five thousand dollars five nfts uh, plus two nft personalized you know this stuff man this is just to attract you i think uh, we have the english version here so yeah be careful it start to sell i think uh, tomorrow at 1 or 2 p.m eastern time so yeah very be careful with that i've been uh, i warn you guys i know some people going to comment uh, yeah you're just just jealous you're not in the white list uh, you could you're not in the raffle and blah 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 but end of the day you will be back and understand that you made a mistake if you buy this so don't even try to quick flip if you're trying to quick flip this you're just making money on someone that is going to be a victim your victim so you become the one scamming them so just don't do that just don't go for any project where you can see copyright infringement possibilities like this uh, clearly it's pokemon they get uh, they get in big trouble i can tell you the nintendo company uh, multi uh, multi million if not billion dollars uh, company if they want to attack they attack and uh, if they see there is some money i don't think they let go people with the uh, six million dollars trading nfts that looks like their pokemon nah not gonna happen so yeah that's it guys i wish you a nice day if you want to follow uh, bah, follow leave a comment and we have a discord where you can talk about the project i will create a discord channel for that i see you there bye bye